What is in this box? Catch you inside. Revelator Alpha. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. I hope you're all well in these testing times. So this video is all about testing out a brand new headlight for my Harley Davidson Softail Sport Glide. Uh, this company, uh, they sent this to me. Well, what's inside the box? They sent it to me and they asked me to review it. No money has exchanged hands or anything like that. It's purely a product review to see if it works. And then in a later video, I'm gonna see if it actually fits my bike as well, which it is supposed to do. Now, this is a company called LED Factory Mart. They're making uh, LED headlights for lots of different bikes as well. This is for the soft tails and it's also CAN bus ready as well. So let me open the box and get into it. Right, quite a unassuming box really. Ah, nice little sticker. Ooh. Now, it's got a remote control, would you believe? And look, it's got all the, the wiring harnesses in there as well. Uh, for all the different, whichever bike you've got, uh, you'd be able to fit the fitment for it as well. Now this is a seven inch, I've got a Sport Glide which has got a seven inch headlight anyway. So this is gonna work well for my bike. Uh, but obviously if you've got a different headlight design, it's not gonna work. If you wanna put a round headlight on your bike, then obviously you're gonna have to get all the housing for it as well. So, you know, bear that in mind. Let's just see if we can get this to work. So you got your headlight right, and then this is just a normal connector which you would connect your headlight into, of course, uh, in its housing. So it's basically gonna have a negative feed or neutral, and then it's gonna have a live feed for your low beam and a live feed for your main beam as well. So we're gonna go and test that out and see what it's like. Uh, this remote sender here, this is actually connected. You've got to power it up as well. Uh, but actually, it's this here, this remote control. You can change the lighting, would you believe, uh, on the halo ring as well. So you can change it all different colors. Right, let me see if it works. Oh yeah, forgot to tell you. On the website, I'll get, leave a link in the description for you as well. But on the website, it's $109. $109.29, that's what this headlight is. I'm not sure if this is gonna fit my bike, so it might have to have some modification, but in a future video, I'll sort of talk about that as well. Let's just see how this works first of all. Okay, so there are no fitting instructions with this. It is purely, uh, you're gonna have to see how you go. Yeah, so possibly, because it is literally a plug and play, maybe that's it. I say you'll have to see what wiring harness you've got on your bike and you'll have to connect whichever it is to this so it works. You might have these kinds of connectors here uh, for your bike so then that's what you connect that into there like so and then connect this into your bike right into your existing wiring harness of course. Okay let's get into some of the, the specs on this first of all. Right, so it's SAE and DOT approved. It's also CE approved as well. 40 watt rated high beam and a 30 watt rated low beam. Now it's a voltage rating of nine to 32 volts, which is obviously perfectly within the range of uh, motorcycles, of course. Now lumens rating is 4,800 on high beam and 3,000 lumens on low beam. Now, if you watch my previous video about this, lumens is just the 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 output of the led it doesn't really tell you how bright it is down the road so this is going to have to be one of those tests you're going to have to do yourself once you've fitted it and see see how it works you see it's a seven inch diameter light it's got a built-in internal fan it's got low voltage protection integrated cooling system well with the fins as well and the lifespan is supposedly above fifty thousand hours and a lot of these uh, aftermarket lights are in that range anyway it's also saying it's waterproof to IP68 as well, so it should be a fully sealed unit, and it's rust proof and shock proof and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so with this halo light here, you can adjust the, uh, the light color and also the intensity of it as well. Right, let's just see if it works first of all. I've got my battery all hooked up. Um, let's just see if we can get that to work. Right, let me do that. Okay, so I've got the negative all wired up. Let's uh, have a look at this now to see uh, what the lighting is. 
Okay, low beam and also high beam. All works. Right, let's just wire up this halo and uh, see if that works as well. Okay, remote control, put the batteries in. Doesn't come with batteries. Probably should do, really. But these are the AAA batteries. Okay, let's wire up this remote control now, first of all. Or the remote control sender. Put the positive in there as well. And the negative. There we go. You can see that the halo light is coming on already. So if I then touch the, the main light, the low beam, or the high beam, then you've got the full lighting there. Put it on the low beam for now. See, right, then all I need to do is just change uh, the light. Look, remote control, change the light. I'll tell you what, let me just put this into darkness all of a sudden, you'll see this better. There we go. Blue, green, and you go back to white as well. Any color you want. Oh, I quite like that one. That's quite a cool one, isn't it? Got an orangey one. And then you can basically lock it in place as well. Lock it. And then no matter what you do here, it won't change it. You need to unlock it. Unlock it. And then it basically goes to a different color, whatever you want. And you basically go to the color that you want. Lock it. Yeah, that's quite a cool one. There we go. Right. Obviously, let me put this on the main beam as well. There we go. Now, you could also uh, turn the halo off. So you can have DRLs, the daytime running lights, uh, with the halo uh, or uh, with it off. So you just turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off. You could also uh, increase the brightness. They can make it go dim or really bright, entirely up to you. And obviously you can change the, change the light color as well. It's all on this keypad here. I like it, I like the look of it. I certainly like it. It's It tests okay, it works, absolutely. And you know, it's got decent specs as well. Now, what, is, what this uh, lumens rating is, as I say, that, that isn't really going to make much sense to anybody unless you've got the Lux rating. So, you know, if I was saying to this company or any other company, I'd say, give us a Lux rating at a specific distance and maybe make it an industry standard that everybody gives you a Lux rating, let's say at 50 meters or 50 feet or 100 feet or whatever, you know, but at least it's exactly the same. So you can compare and contrast between each one. But this actually works really nicely. Let's just see if I can do a quick test. And I've got to say, that looks looks quite bright to me. Yeah, so definitely on the wall here, it looks quite bright. But obviously, you know, until you actually fit it to the bike, you're never going to know. So it really depends, again, which bike you have, will this fit for you? So you're going to have to maybe do a bit of a custom work to actually get this to fit. Or it may just slot in. Uh, quite easily. It really depends. It really depends on what your setup is. So what, what I'm going to do is on the next video, I'm going to look about will this actually fit on my bike. But for now, this works really great. This remote sender, you can hide, you know, underneath the triple trees. No problem. You can keep this in your, in your pocket or also in your bags or whatever. Uh, or you can just lock it and that's it. Forget about it. You know, it's done. Once it's locked, it's done. Let's say you want to change your color now, you just unlock it, put a new color, let's put on blue, lock it, then that's it, it's it's not going to change. So all you need to do now is say, right, okay, well, I don't want this anymore, I'm just going to leave it at home. Well, leave it at home, right, I'm going to take off the power, put that power back on, there we go, and it's just remembered the last color it was on. Fine, works great. So this will all work with your motorcycle, whichever bike you've got. It gives you all the different connectors. It's got three different uh, harnesses depending on the bike that you have. So it should fit. So I can't tell you if this is going to work for you until you actually get it onto your bike. And it will just be a simple this or this or 
this will actually go into your existing harness and then you just connect this light to that done you also have your positive and negative feed to uh, the rim lights as well you might need to bring an extra bit of wiring in but it should work you could actually wire it up to these existing uh, lights here as well put just a little bit of extra wiring there run it off the positive and the negative there job done should work should work okay i quite like that so there we go thank you uh led factory mark for sending these over um i wasn't sure if it was going to be to my liking i actually quite the i quite like this kind of multi-colored uh halo ring um but as i say until you actually get on the bike you won't know but uh at least it works we know it works that's the most important thing and as I say, before you ever fit any electrical uh, component on your bike, always give it a bench test first of all, to know if it's actually working. Uh, don't ever put anything on your bike without testing it first, because you know you could save yourself a whole load of heartache uh, and pain and suffering, really. Yeah, I mean, it is quite warm on the back there as well, but as I say, it is a light, it's a high powered light as well. But look, I mean, I can still hold it, it's no problem. But there we go that is it uh the uh, light here seven inch light uh led light motorcycle light with halo ring with adjustable halo ring as well you can get this uh for just over a hundred dollars from uh the link in the description down below i'm not getting anything for this make up your own minds uh, what you uh what you want i say but for me it seems like a half decent product now will it be brighter than your existing uh, led light i don't know will it be brighter than uh, a halogen light quite possibly uh, but say until you actually get it on your bike you won't really know so if i actually get this on my bike i'll do a before and after of a night ride as well so you can have a good look at that i'll also do lux meter readings as well at a specific distance and see uh, what uh, the outcome of that is as well for you so you'll have a much better idea but until then hope you found that useful don't forget to subscribe hit that bell like and share and check out the website revelatealf.com and i'll catch you again Ta -da.